Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the worst fucking podcast you've ever heard. So, Mike's. Hey, hey, hey. That is my Ray favorite part. Mikes. That was my Yay. favorite part. When we get introduced, you're arriving. We are arriving in 2022. That is amazing. Wow. Thought I'd be dead oh. a long time ago. Welcome to both mics. <laughs> hey guys, it's a show about nothing and everything. That is Mike Sofka. And that is Mike Taylor. And together we are both mics. Welcome to show number 82 of Both Mics Heard Everywhere. Podcast can be heard live. Yes. And see. special today on a Saturday. Yes, uh, that is unique. Yeah, we uh we just got back from a crazy winter recess, Christmas break, vacation, doohickey, busy as hell can be, and we are back. Uh, you'll find us typically on Friday night uh, on twitch.tv slash both mics. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, anywhere pay, anywhere social, and anywhere podcasts can be heard. Yes. How you doing, Mr. Safka? How's things? I'm doing wonderful. Don't forget, you forgot we each had a birthday in there. We each got a year Ooh. older, too. Yes. Yeah. I can't drive 55. Yes. Happy birthday to us. Oh, hey. Look, also, while uh, while we were on vacation, look what I got made. Oh, very nice. Look very at that. Nice. I like it. It's like uh, it. not the best quality. It was one of those ads on, on social media. So for 10 bucks, I dropped a logo. And uh, yeah, sir, I have to wear it like this. Yeah, so, no, it looks good, dude. It looks. Good. Unfortunately, like you can it. only get one. No, it's I not, hear the, you. It's not the best quality, but we it are is gonna... both Mike's T-shirt with our logo on it for people at home listening. I have um, I've been promising this for a while, and I I I finally got all the logo stuff I need um in vector image because for quality T-shirts you have to have a vectored image. Oh, is wow. what they yeah, say. yeah, yeah. Or sometimes just a PNG file, but um, no, I got all that stuff in the works here. I've got, I've got everything, I, and I also have some potential additions to the Mikeisms. I picked up a couple. Oh. I, <laughs> it's been a rough couple of weeks. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> if we're gonna get into those today, but you know, I, right. I, I definitely picked up a couple. Well, I'll just, I'll just uh, spit the two out right now, off the top of my head, not in any formal fashion or anywhere. But expect the unexpected. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Peter I, Brady said it best on the Brady Bunch. When you least expect it, yeah, expect it. Yeah. And Poor then Bobby. The, the follow-up to that, and the one that's going to numerically go right after that, Mike, is, is when all the shit does hit the fan, don't freak out and complain. It's a long one. Don't freak out and complain. Assess your inventory. Look at your arsenal. See what you have to deal with that problem. And then deal with the fucking problem. So I'm or, trying to... or when when the when the shit hits the fan, don't be the fan. Yeah, okay, I'll accept that too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. You know, right. it, it is what yeah. it is. There. Little, little side note too: we're talking about logos and whatnot. Um, Monsters of Rock is coming up in about four or five weeks, Are and you sure? uh, people do what they just call it trading. Like people will have guitar picks made up with their name and their logo, their city. That's freaking awesome, dude! How much yeah. is it to get guitar picks? Let's do that. Well, I'll hold on. Okay. Uh, so people do the the rubber wristbands. You yeah. Know, hey, it's so and so. Rock the house. Monsters yeah. of Rock, two thousand twenty-two. Right. And another ad that popped up on social media was a place called Chip Lab that do custom poker poker chips. chips i remember you talking about this in the past yeah, yeah. and and we have a, a logo that would make yes. a great poker chip yes so I, I had some made up and uh okay at last night while we were pretty much passed out in bed dude another story we went to a mexican restaurant last night yeah. and we had house margaritas that i think came from like a, a oasis pour machine or a slushy machine with tequila and i think they added more tequila well yeah i was gonna say because i i worked at a house like that where we made in five gallon buckets the margaritas and shit like that and they were good they were strong but they weren't you know mike Sofka strong you know I, you need to get a floater on that thing these these were mike Sofka strong awesome. and we had two and yeah and god it was it was rough driving home <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah 
So the, the missus passed out in the bed, and I saw it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I need to buy my uh, my poker chips for Monsters of Rock Cruise. Yeah. And I, I posted a, I posted it on the Monsters of Rock Facebook page, and Brenda followed up. She goes, when did you do this? <laughs> I was, I was Why do you sleep? You blacked out. I'm still working. Yeah. Still going. Yep, got things going. Got all the got all the the place to, to that are twirling. Nice. I'm so, pimping uh, the uh, Godsmack T-shirt today. Eh, I wore well. this one into a store one time. I won't name the store, but a little lady was getting behind me in the store line, and on the back it says Godsmack as well. I think. Yes. Line. Yes. And she goes, "Are you in that band?" <laughs> my shirt. I said, no, I wish I was. She goes, oh, I just like everything that praises the Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I'm like, I, I didn't know what to say. It's like 98-pound, oh, 80-year-old lady, and I didn't want to be sarcastic. I was just like, I just smiled and nodded and went on my way. But yeah. Let me let me tell you a story uh, about concert T-shirts and being completely, com probably the one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. <laughs> Uh, we went in college, 1985, October 1985, we went to uh, a, a retreat. We went to St. Edwards University, and we went on a, a little retreat for the weekend. And uh, I, I finally met, like, the, the priest at St. Edwards and stuff and introduced to him. So I, I kind of, you know, knew him from the weekend, and it was it was kind of a, a cool little getaway. And then we, we ran on Sunday night to San Antonio to see – Y&T and Motley Crue. Nice. And at the convention center. And they had a concert t-shirt that was a tie-dye t-shirt. And uh, it was awesome. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can find a picture of it and post it on the Both Mike's Facebook page. Beautiful shirt. I actually still have it. My daughter has it it's now. A, I wish I had my old concert shirts. They're bringing all yeah. the cash right now on eBay. Hundreds of well, dollars. It, this one, last I saw on eBay, was $92. That's friggin' insane, dude. And it was a medium. When well, I was yeah, I mean, pounds. back then we weren't, you know, <laughs> double extra fats. Yeah. So, awesome tie-dye t-shirt, said Motley Crue, and then it had a pentagram on the t-shirt. Got it on Sunday night. Brenda bought it for me. It's Monday, getting ready, going to school, go, going to class, you know, college. And uh, I was coming back from the uh, administration building to the dorm area, and you pass by the church on the way there. And who comes bopping out of the church, walking my way, going to the administration building, but Father whoever. And he stopped me. He stops me. He goes, oh, hey, look at that shirt. And I'm like, look down. I see the pentagram. And I'm like, uh, 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 nice. uh, uh, uh it's just decoration. Nice. <laughs> I had no idea what to say. Nice. And, uh, yeah, so I was, more, you know, embarrassed beyond belief to have that shirt on and, and talking to a father priest minister whatever see you could have account. bluffed you could have bluffed it and lied to the priest you could have told him you were ex you were exploring judaism and you were showing you know because that star <sighs> david thing looks you know a little similar you know star david yeah yeah no. anyway so so yeah whatever. um dude i was uh we went to san antonio for <clears throat> for christmas and we stayed at my mother-in-law's house mm. and god this woman she lives by herself now. Her her Brenda's stepfather passed away, I think, back in right. August, September. Mm -hmm. So she's all by herself in his house, and mm -hmm. she's got so much food in his house. Everything I picked up had expired a year ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, oh, cool. Let me see what this is. And I'm, like, looking at it, like, let me read the date real quick before I go opening it and eating it. And like, April 2021. I'm like, oh, God. So, yeah. It was a it was a good holiday away, and uh, reminds me of that back. commercial that that you know they do um, funny commercials. This is for some insurance. The commercials are great, but I can't remember the product, so they're not effective. Right. But yeah. it was like the ants are visiting. We we have a new house, but we got an ant problem, and the ants oh, are yeah. visiting them. And it expired, expired. She's throwing everything out of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. It was bad. It was like like oh, Xander wants cheese doodles, like. Yeah, March 2020. that's not a good situation. Oh, Somebody's got to get control of that situation over there. Did you clean it up or what? No, dude, I I, I was busy. <laughs> no, I get it. And you don't want to be over meddling or no, no, body yeah. or whatever. And but... she's she's got it together. Yeah, you know she's she's not 
not even close to an right. invalid or or forgetful. Yeah. She's a freaking tax accountant. She's sharp as a tack, you know. But I, I couldn't believe it. Like like oh cool, there's food everywhere. I'm gonna be munching out on everything until right. I read the date. You know? Well, it's not like on that date that the food goes bad yeah. on that date. It's not like it's I on a timer. It. You know, I but a year out, I can see yeah, a second. So, you know what you should do? There's a TV show now with that on one of these Discovery channels or whatever where dudes eat expired food. So, like, they have a uh, a thing, like, where they get a, a, a an MRE from, like, World War II that has them <laughs> open in there. Open it. In, or, like... Batman cereal from like the eighties and they're like, right. oh, and it was still they're sealed. Eat. Yeah, and they're they're eating shit, and I'm like, is that on after Doctor Pimple Popper? <laughs> yes, <laughs> might I guess. as well be. <laughs> yes. Speaking of uh, Doctor Pimple Popper, hold on, I, I'm new method here and changing this shit up. Oh, this is uh something that I I That's said a black screen. Yeah, I know. I'm going to put it up here in a second. You know, <laughs> like I said, I'm running a little bit different today. Thank you, though, for alerting me. No problem. Just, you know, pointing um, out, you know, the obvious. Okay. So, rolling right in. Nice segue here. We're going to go right to the fart in a jar story. Nice. Blown away. Woman who sold farts in a jar retires after being hospitalized. Now, I had heard about this for a while, and I heard there were scams involving this where... You know, people would send something smelly in a jar, or put it on eBay, and put a picture of a supermodel or something without her permission, and say it was right. her fart. And these things go for a lot of money. Well, yeah, it's like it's like the 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 image of Jesus and the grilled cheese. Yeah, yeah. What is you this? Know, the, she says the Dorito that's in the shape of Florida. You know. <laughs> Did, All this, the ghost in the jar, that's always I, a good one. Ghost I didn't know that it, it would be so taxing on the human body, but this woman goes on to say, I thought I was having a stroke and that these were my final moments. I was overdoing it. This is the, her name is Steph Motto, and there she's holding one of her jars of farts. And the 90 Day Fiance star, see, I didn't know that, who grossed nearly $254,000 from selling her farts in jars is retiring from the gassy business. This according to TorontoSun.com. Motto was popping out up to 50 jars of farts a week, which required her to increase her fiber intake. She had previously subsided on beans and eggs, but began mixing it up with banana protein shakes to enhance the smell. She eventually like asparagus. asparagus. She eventually began cabbage. Ex- she eventually began to experience more than the sweet smell of success. I oh, I like the I like that alliteration there. Um, I thought I was having a stroke and that these were my final moments and I was overdoing it. I didn't tell my doctors about the farting in the jar, but I did tell them about my diet. And it was made clear that I was experiencing wasn't a stroke or a heart attack, but very intense gas pains. Her doctor advised her to change her diet and put her on a gas suppressant medication, which she said effectively, effectively ended my business. Bino, isn't that what it's called? She calls herself a fartpreneur, like an entrepreneur, but a fartpreneur. Yeah. As, <sighs> as luck would have it, I put up the jars for sale. They began to sell like hotcakes. She made about twelve hundred and seventy dollars a jar, though she offered a fifty percent discount during the holidays because you know you want to give a <laughs> fart a jar as a gift, you know. Wow. There were wow. more unique and iconic launch of digital fart art. She's going into NFTs now. So you can get an NFT of her farting in a jar. What's an NFT? Well, we talked about these in the past, and I'm not sure if it's in, in this show or the oh, next show, okay. but we are going to talk about them today because we, one of my New Year's resolutions is to get more active with crypto and NFT, my partner and I, my lovely wife, the lovely Lisa is helping me with this and we're going to we're going to toy around with some of this stuff. We we may have a both mics NFT by the end of the year. NFT is that like that capture of a moment in time non fungible non fungible token and it's really what I've seen most of them out there in my very brief study of this stuff was a lot of it is 
gaming images. A lot of it is works of art. Uh, Melania Trump is coming out with ones that are her eyes. You know, just anybody that can cat Kevin Smith and company's already cashed in on this stuff. So I'm, I, there's something to it. Just got to catch it on the rise and not on the slide down. You know. Right. Anyway, sadly, both mics will not have fart in a jar. Um, I mean, I'm sure we can make that happen. It's just I don't know how successful we'll be in marketing those. Exactly. I don't know, but I, I would I would think if I got into that business, I would do like you suggested, specialty ones like Brussels sprout farts, <laughs> broccoli farts. You know, right? Uh, right. Y- 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 yeah, you know. I mean, I'm sure there's different ways we can go there. Turkey, turkey's a good one too. Turkey fart. Okay, I'm like, uh, yeah. Oh, dude, I <clears throat> have you ever like. I know, I know. You're going to be like, oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? But, <laughs> like, I've I've narrowed down things over time. Like, I found out that I'm allergic to celery. How does anybody ever find out they're allergic to celery? Well, it's like you know, 99.9% working... water, dude. How are you fucking allergic to celery? I'm allergic. Well, I have skin issues with celery. Okay. When I when I worked produce, I used to have to cut celery and things like that. And the, the sap from it, I have issues with. Wow. Um, <clears throat> grapes also but i also realized that i was eating grapes right out of the the case and the case is dirty um when it's dirty and also uh has some kind of sulfur dioxide in it wow to retard the ripening process of grapes i i, I so don't I, think you can use that word anymore mike i think you have to call it special needs okay special needs of the ripening process of yes. grapes um so yeah uh and I also figured out that cherries, cherries, one of my favorite things in the world to eat, gives me, holy cow, what's wrong with you, Mike? Roll down the window, farts. We, that's, that's great. See, we could sell those in a jar. Right there. <laughs> cherry farts Washington, in a jar. Washington State cherry farts in a jar. There, there you go. When you can brand name it like that and put a location <laughs> in the name, that gives it that I'm much sure, more credibility. I'm sure the governor of Washington would just adore that. Yeah, I'm sure he's he's right up there. Exported from too. Florida. <laughs> Washington State farts. Exported from Florida. Yeah, I like that. I yes. like that. Well, you know, I, I mean, I would like to do, as much as I would like to do that, I, I don't see that happening anytime soon. But... If you, they like, are, walk around with a case of mason jars. Yeah, well, does, I already, she have like, does she have mason jars in her car? Yeah. Does she have them all over? Yeah, I already have the stickers here for the jars. Put that right, on right, the lid. Both. Yeah, <laughs> I'm liking it. Right, there's something to this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, right, I'm gonna we, get we'll more. We'll have to start up. We'll do a pilot program. Here's so, what we need. Here's so what we need. She selling them? Is she selling them off her website or eBay or eBay? She made two hundred forty-five thousand dollars on eBay. That means eBay got like twenty-five grand from her, but whatever. Wow. Right? They She's still ahead of the game. How much could the jars cost? You know, to, to by the dozen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it cost her her health, but still. Here's what whatever. we need. I'm sure we she's need somebody dying. that's listening to send us a picture of an ex of a of a, an aspiring actress slash model. Maybe somebody that doesn't mind having their face posted that. That is their fart in a jar. We'll fart in a jars, and we'll put her face. She'll be the the face of the company. She'll be the face of that movement. <laughs> like Jerry in Subway. I'm sure it'll, yes. it'll turn out great. <laughs> yes. Well, she'll be popular. We'll be popular. As long as they like spell the, like the our Papa names John's right. Guy. What's that? Like, Papa, like the guy from Papa John's. It'll just work out. It would be great. It'll yes. Be... Yes. I'm good with that. Yeah. I'm good with that. Speaking of Papa John's, you know, their big uh, competitor, Pizza, Pizza, Pizza. Hut. Well, yeah. a couple weeks ago, during our last of 2021 shows, we talked about them finding a China and their rover on the moon, finding a hut-like structure on the moon with their rover. Well, right. they finally made their way to the, the moon hut, and it turns out <laughs> to be a giant rock. Yeah, okay. Make, makes sense. Imagine that. <laughs> I just thought it was funny because they were making, oh, no, this, look, this is a, a, a structure that was built by intelligent peoples or, or, or design and yada, yada. And yeah. Yeah. And, and what did I say? I say that damn rover is a remote control. Drag that thing over there and find out what it is. Yeah. It's so important to you. And they, and they did. did. Yeah. And it only took a, a month. Yeah, but. 
anyway, I just think it's hilarious that it's a rock. You heard it here yeah. first on both mics. Mike Taylor said it was something like a rock. I remember yeah. that. Well, I said it could be it could have been anything. It, you know. With the amount of people that have been up on the moon, anybody could have been over there and put a damn hut up, but Well, I thought rock. it was maybe, you know, Pizza Hut or somebody going up, you know, putting their first stake in the moon, you know, first business on the moon. We all know it's gonna be Musk. He's gonna be selling Teslas on the moon. And on Mars. Yeah. Well, Pizza Hut missed their opportunity by them calling it a hut. I would have been all over it. You know, hey, we're opening a new... I would have even a, a fake thing on Twitter or something. Hey, we're opening our... No franchise is too distant for you to get delivered pizza. <clears throat> something like that. Sunglass Hut, Pizza Hut, someone. Pizza the Hut. <clears throat> Crazy, dude. I, I yeah. expected better. Did, did they say how big it was? Uh, let's see. Yada, 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 details, details. It, to be off in a, in a distance like that, it, it should have been pretty big. But looking in that image that you just showed on the <clears throat> on the twitch.tv slash both mics feed, it didn't look that big. But then again, you know, what kind of perception do you have on the moon? It was 100, 100 meters away from it when it took that picture oh. that we saw. And then by right. the time they got it up there closer... Yada yada. So it wasn't way it off. Came in the within distance. thirty-three feet of of the object, and they took a panoramic picture. And of course, that picture I put up was the best available picture. And it does not say how big it was. Like they didn't measure it. I would think they'd be able to tell the <coughs> size of it relative to the size of the rover. You know, hmm. right? Yeah. Well, a hundred meters is, is essentially goalpost to goalpost. Right. You know. Well, this is something else because this is a this is according to Gizmodo.com. That's the first question I was thinking of, but it, you know I didn't see it, so I flew right past it. But you know, it lends to okay, how big was this thing? And they don't even give you that in the in the article here. That's disappointing. I'm gonna have to write them and tell them to a you strongly know, worded email. Yeah, do my show prep better for me. <laughs> Speaking of. Uh, show prep and stuff we have that one thing on here that we like to do all the time and well we'll explain more about that reason in just a second here oh i thought we were talking nonsense So when we talk about aliens here, we're talking about actual aliens, but we're talking about the aliens here on Earth. Seven billion people on this planet, and there's like a handful of people that got more money, more intelligence, and they're furthering our culture and social behaviors more than anyone else. Of course, I'm talking about Jeff Bezos. I'm talking about Elon Musk. I'm Zuckerberg. talking about Bill Gates. Yeah, Branson. Branson. All these guys, they're either aliens themselves or they've got close contact with aliens to get them to do these things. Don't tell me these people are that much smarter than the other 7 billion people on the planet. They just have a little more help is what it is. So, I mean, shit. So what you're telling me is Einstein would have been a you know, a, a $300 billion man? Like, my, Anyway, I'm not going to get into all that. Let me get right into why I'm doing it here. Tesla, SpaceX, <clears throat> Starlink, all that's our boy Elon Musk. And they're having a little trouble with this Starlink thing as they're expanding oh, yeah. from the beta users. And as they're opening that up, their bandwidth is shrinking. So <laughs> it's overloaded. So they recently just sent up last Thursday uh, Falcon yeah. 9 rocket carrying 40, 49 more Starlink satellites. So here's my question. If they haven't really gotten off the ground and they're having trouble... And the answer is to put up 49 more satellites. How many fucking satellites are you going to need to put up to reach the 7 billion people on the planet? You can't handle a couple hundred thousand. What are we doing? Yeah. <clears throat> I, I thought it was a crazy idea to begin with, but, you know, who am I? Well, there's you know, it, it, The freaking planet is huge. There's insiders that claim that this is part of some bigger mm -hmm. thing with the government 
to change the currency to digital currency. In order to do that, we need quantum speeds. We need to have the speeds over 200 megabytes per second. And right now they're clocking at 97. And the uh, second quarter of last year, they went down to 87 bits per second. So it's, it, it, it's so many people, we're doing so much with the internet. We're, we're videos take up a lot, pictures, all that stuff. But if you're running an economy for the world, on an internet-based platform, and this is what you're planning to use, we're in a lot of fucking trouble. Well, oh, we're also, honest, we're also I had the, the money on my phone. It. I don't know where it went. We're also at the infancy of this. He, he's only been working on this for, what, two years? So, I, and, you know. And I get it. And I get it. it you're right. It'll, it'll get there eventually, but... Well, you know, here's my question. About... There's already several hundred of these things floating around they say they're going to they say right now they have 145,000 users globally and they're providing services in 25 countries i would think that you know this going in at this point that i'm just disappointed more than anything i guess and i'm disappointed that they don't have their shit together i'm disappointed there's going to be that much more metal floating around the, they have 1,556 satellites in orbit. SpaceX is wow. also building out the second shell, the third and the fifth shell's <clears throat> lowest priority. The company has applied for permission to launch up to 42,000 satellites overall. Yeah, I, I thought it would be It's going to be like a amount. net around the globe, man. Yeah, that, that's it's crazy. What, that's what he, he you know told everybody when he started doing this. That it was going to cover the whole place, and this way you can have internet access in the savannas of Africa. <laughs> well, well, the whole design behind this. Now, when we talk about these satellites and stuff, you can actually see them, like the picture here on twitch.tv slash both mics or YouTube yeah. or Facebook, wherever you're watching. You can see this type of image. This is not a bogus image. This is not overinflated or, or zoomed in. You see the tree line there in the house. These image, these type of images are available. You just have to look up in the sky. But here, here's my thing. Everyone's talking about all these satellites and space junk, and the Chinese ISS had to steer their whole sp spacecraft out of the way of some space junk left. Okay, fine. This Starlink has nothing to do with that. I know they're going to put forty-two thousand satellites up, but they're in a lower orbit. So they're a lot lower than those other satellites. That's how they're able to maintain that high-speed internet thing. But apparently right. not so much until they get, oh, I don't know, another 41,000, <laughs> 43,000 satellites up there. So, wow. Anyway, that's now, just I, I used to have, there's a, a website that you can go to that shows, you know, you put in your coordinates, your zip code or whatever the case may be, and it'll tell you when certain versions of Starlink will be in your area. And I guess I lost the... I only have 56 uh, web pages open right now on my phone. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so I, I don't <laughs> have to find it. Well, he's see, if, uh, see if this, this newer version is, is able to be seen, because I've, I've looked. I've, had, I've set alarms on my phone to go outside and look. It'll tell you to look in the northwest area at 10 degrees, and it'll go up across here and land over there. And it'll tell you if it, you know, if it's going to be barely seen or if it should be, you know, decently seen, if that's a word. And uh, well, I'm not too far from to you. Let me it. let me know when you discover that, and I'll take yeah. a look myself. I will. Uh, I will put the website on the both Mike's Facebook page. Well, Musk is also in the news once again here for his Vegas loop. You heard about this? Uh -oh. Remember we well, talked about the underground. I remember the loop, I know the loop and, and what yeah. his process is and what his thought process is. But to put one in Vegas? Oh, it's already up. It's already up. Check is this it out. Underground? According, according to dailymail.co.uk, I got to go to England to get these stories because we're going to black how, this how, shit out here. How fast do you need to get from MGM Grand to the New York, New York across the street? Here's the headline of this article. Can I get there at 700 miles an hour? If a car catches fire, people will die. Elon Musk's Vegas Loop Tunnel is branded a death trap as video shows CES attendees stuck in traffic. So this CES thing, this is like a, uh, let me put the picture up here. There we go. This this is on the way into the loop. If you look way up ahead, there's a tunnel looking thing. And these cars roll single file through that thing. Now this was a 
I guess they have these trade shows and everything. So he was showing this baby off, okay? They noticed with the traffic that there's no real exhaust type system in place. There's barely enough room to open the doors to allow a human to get out because of the sides of the tunnel are so narrow to the cars. Now, there's other pictures. You can see them. The pictures that I found that show that, I couldn't download them. They were, anyway, you can find them if you look hard enough. I I was. Uh... Okay. <clears throat> so this is not one of those magnetic propulsion subway type devices that no and i thought I it was looked. it looks like he has a bunch of teslas there so i'm thinking that he's gonna have cars there to get people more comfortable with this type of thing because it's a car but i think these cars are all you know ai type cars all programmed in you know where to go where to stop whatever but the, here's the deal um the, the convention loop was unveiled in April 2021, sitting 40 feet beneath the ground and costing $52.5 million to complete. However, this is just the tip of the iceberg for the boring company in Las Vegas. It plans to construct a 29-mile-long tunnel system with 51 stations that run from places like hotel casinos on the Las Vegas Strip the city's new football stadium, the convention center, and McCarran International Airport. The convention center's loop system is about 1.7 miles long with a total of 29 parking spaces throughout the three stations. They said they got in some sort of traffic jam and it was not a look. Remember when Musk did that thing? He was showing off the truck and the truck had unbreakable glass and he took a sledgehammer and the glass broke. Right. He was on stage. This is yeah. the same thing says drivers cannot cruise more than 40 miles per hour. Not only does the South Hall begin being closed impact the traffic flow, but Boring is using 70 Tesla vehicles to cater to this year's influx of attendees, yada, yada. I guess they just had too many people on a thing at one time, but it's like anything else. Traffic is traffic. It just goes to show. Right. Built, spending $52 million is not going to get you out of traffic. <laughs> Unreal, yeah. It, it, I thought it was something cool. It looks like it's just a tunnel. Yeah, there's better pictures, like I said, where you can get the you yeah. can get the look and the feel of being in this claustrophobic tube that you can't get out of. And can you imagine the cars in front of you are stopped? You're stopped. Maybe there's a fire. Now you got shit rolling yeah. in through the vents. You got you can't <laughs> get out. You can't get out of the car. You can't back up. You can't turn around. Yeah. That, they got some work to do. They got some work to do. Well, Ford has been experimenting with some stuff. This is um, on the video here. I just put up a video. This is through Google. Google launching Ripple, an open standard that could bring tiny radars to Ford cars and more. This is according to the Verge.com. There's okay. a picture of a guy waving his hand in front of this device, and you can see the radar waves are animated there or uh, drawn in right. and i'm thinking there this is used for the ai this is used for the you know the artificial intelligence this is going to enhance things they say that the ripple project at github <coughs> is filled with references to google including several instances of copyright 2021 google llc so they're quick to put their brand on it and their name on it yada yada we are researching how to use interior radar as a sensor source to enhance various customer services experiences. Beyond our leading Ford Copilot 360 driver assist technologies that use advanced exteriors radar today, a standard API with semiconductor. This is, we're losing people. People are shutting their shit off. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I thought yeah, this it, was more. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, you know, the the vehicle my wife has, a Honda Pilot, you know, top of the line. Got every buzzer and whistle you possibly could use uh, on a car. And you'd be driving along, and if you kind of come out of your parking sp uh, your lane a little bit, yeah, your steering wheel will go, will, will shake. Yeah. To, like, alarm you that you're leaving your lane. No, and cool. then it'll flash up on the dashboard. Drive with two hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that, it's actually kind of cool, you know. And like we were in the car wash today, and 
the car freaked out because like it sensed that like things were around it. Yeah, so it was you got warning it. me that you know that that you know to brake and to this and to do that and all the you know, all the stuff you got to turn off before you go yeah, to the car wash. Yeah, I was gonna say there's ways to disable all that shit. It's just yeah. probably a pain in the ass. So you're just trying to get the car washed. Yeah, it's it's one button, but yeah, it's, it's telling you to brake because you're going to crash into something. It you know, things are in your blind spot and all kinds of crap, buzzers and whistles blowing off. But yeah, and then at the end of the damn car wash. You literally have to put your foot on the brake, which you don't want to do because there's a car right behind you, right. in order to put it back into drive. Really? You, you can't go from neutral to drive? Right, with your foot off the brake. Wow. Yeah, so that's that's not good. That's a safety issue right there, I think. No, I think you're right. I think you're right. But Granted, I guess a you... lot of times you don't have to do that until you're off that roller thing. But still, right. if you if you hesitate, I don't think that roller thing stops behind you. you know? Nope. No, nope, has man. no no idea that you're stopped yep, at that point. Exactly. Wow, it's fucking crazy. Yep. So, all right, what else is happening? Oh, I got a what bunch. Did, what I did got we a bunch miss of stuff while we still here. Check this out. That's a Sonos uh, <laughs> device here. Hang on, let me pull this up here. This goes with uh, Google Sonos, the maker of some of these listening and speaker devices. Uh, they just took. Google to court, Sonos wins Google import ban ruling in patent fight over smart speakers. U.S. Trade wow. Court, this is according to NewYorkPost.com, U.S. Trade Court barred Google late Thursday from importing products that infringe on home audio companies Sonos's smart speaker patents. So Google can't go to China and buy the cheap speakers. They have the patent on it here, and I guess they're worried about the... That's a smart money move. What's so? What's Google going to do now? Buy Sonos? More than likely. <laughs> yeah. More than likely. Or, or Bezos will buy it. Yes, yes. That's what. The, that's what I would do if I. You know, Musk would do it. He would buy yeah. it just to piss well, Bezos off. You know what? You know what Bezos does, and it's kind of upset me a little bit. Um, you remember diapers dot com? Probably not. No. There's a company out there, diapers.com. You can get like, you know, subscription service for diapers for your child and they're, they're less expensive and they get delivered right to your house. And diapers.com used to sell their diapers on Amazon. Bezos and Amazon came along and said, okay, diapers.com, you've got a great company. You guys do a lot of business for us. We want to buy your company. Diapers.com said, no, thanks, but no, thanks. We're, we're doing great. We're doing good. Blah, blah, blah. Amazon came along and said, Okay, we're going to open AmazonDiapers.com, and where our diapers are going to be cheaper and, and less expensive. And guess what? Our diapers are going to take priority over yours to be delivered. Wow. <laughs> so basically, the big man squashing the little man out. You know, story of everybody's life. Wow, that's pretty sad. Yeah. I mean, you can't even rely on you know a place for your shit. Now, do they pick up diapers? Um, I'm sure they do. Do they recycle them? Do you have yeah. a recycling if, diaper? If they bin? do, if they do, they need to go to San Antonio because apparently San Antonio thinks that when you're done with a diaper, you just kind of throw it out the window or leave it in the parking lot. That, but I, when you roll in a parking lot and you see the diaper laying in the spot, I'm like, man, I, I'll just and, take the further spot. You know, I yeah. don't, I don't want to. I'll deal take with the that. spot over here by the hypodermic needles. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes. I don't, Walmart. I don't know how fragrant that diaper is, you know? It could hit you even four or five, six feet away. Yeah. I could I, be, I I could be I was, in the wind pattern and not know it. I remember when I was younger, guys, probably in my 20s. Let's just hope it was in my 20s. And you ever, like, roll through when you see, like, a bag? Like, what if that's a bag of money? Yeah, yeah, you know, what yeah. If someone, what if someone, you know, I hear stories about it, about the Florida Turnpike, uh, you know, occasionally – that, you know, some guy out there cutting the grass will pick up a bag and it'll be full of money or full of dope because, you know, they see a cop and they throw it out the window. Wow. Uh, yeah, I've, I've heard it more than once in the Florida Turnpike. Wow. But being in my 20s, seeing a, driving through a parking lot, seeing a paper bag and rolling back around, driving around just to see what's in the bag, dirty diaper. <laughs> no money, no cash, no drugs, dirty diaper. Have you ever been in the car and seen actual cash blowing across or down the road and stop and grab the cash? It's my dream come true, but no, I never have. It's happened to Lisa. It's happened to me. It wasn't a bunch of money, you know, five, ten, twenty bucks or whatever. But oh, okay, it was. I thought you meant like 
like a like a like a flurry of cash. No, I'm talking you're on like a six six lane road with traffic lights, three lanes on both sides, and you're stopped or slowing at a light, and you're like, "Wow, there's a piece of wow, a piece of trash looks like a twenty. Put it in park, get out, grab it, get back in." Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I've I've no I've seen what I thought was cash, you know, because you know cash. Yes. Cash just looks like cash. Yep. And uh, driving on probably the probably like a like a, a more than one lane road with traffic lights and rolling back around to see if I could see it again and didn't see it. So whatever it was disappeared or someone else saw it quicker than me. Well, speaking of cash, the Mega uh -oh. Millions has grown. Somebody somebody hit the Powerball. Two people hit the Powerball. Six hundred twenty eight really? million. OK, somebody in uh, I, Green Bay and somebody in Sacramento, they both have uh, tickets for that. But the Mega Millions is now up to 300 million. That's yeah, cool. this uh, the Powerball was up there and I played on Wednesday. Yeah. And. Yeah, Wednesday. The fifth and I won four bucks, four bucks. I won on that one. And uh, yeah, Powerball's back down to 20 million. So two people won that. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. But Mega Million, $300 million. I, uh, and, ooh, the drawing was last night. So the next drawing is Tuesday, January 11th, 2022 for $3 million. We got time. I think, I think I'll do that. And, and what's the next one on the list here on my phone is the Florida Lottery for $1 million. Almost seems like it's not worth it. Yeah, I'm not playing that shit. It's only a million dollars. What the fuck do I want with that? <laughs> Yeah, a million bucks would make a difference in your life temporarily. Isn't it sad to say that a million dollars would temporarily make a difference in your life? Well, the 300 million, like if you want 300 million, the cash option on that is 206.7 million dollars. Yeah. You're going to give me two, and I'm going to take the cash option. Even though I'm going to yeah. leave 94 million, 93 million and change on the table, I'm taking a cash option. I'm not letting you make all the money on my money. No, 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 no. I'm going to take 200 million cash. I can live off the interest on that shit pretty fucking well, I bet. Yeah, yeah. I I figured it out when uh when I know somebody had a relative who won the Powerball for 190 million and we were at you know, when I was at the mortgage office, we're like, "Okay, frivolously spend 90 million dollars. Take 100 million dollars right. and put it in a an annuity." Right. Make make 3% on it. Yeah. 100 million dollars make it 3% is fifty six thousand dollars a month? I can. I might be able to quit my part time job on that. Yeah, Fuck. yeah. Uh, no, no Easter Bunny and, and to, uh, Tooth Fairy for you this year. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Look so, at this. Yeah. You know what that is? That appears to be a uh, uh, coffee. No, good guess. It's ninety one thousand oh, pennies. <laughs> oh God! This again? Yes. Oh Lord! This is according to. Dailymail.co.uk. Again, I gotta, I gotta go to Europe to get these friggin' things, and it's right here. This happened in Georgia. Okay, is this someone's last paycheck, or, or what is this? Feds sue auto shop owner for illegal retaliation for dumping ninety-one thousand oil-covered pennies at the end of manager's driveway with note saying "F you." He went with the full word "fuck," but they blocked it out of the article here. After he resigned to toxic work environment. All right. I, I, what's, the, what's the date on this story? Oh, uh, this is recent. This is January 8th, 2022. Really? Yeah. Okay. No. Then, because a, a year or so back, someone did this the same exact thing. Somebody was bitching about their last paycheck. They wanted their last paycheck. So they dumped oil soaked pennies for the amount of his paycheck into his driveway. Well, apparently. This stems from a lawsuit by the Labor Department against this auto shop owner who willfully denied paying employees overtime payment, instead opting for a flat weekly rate of pay regardless of the number of hours. So he got these people up in hours, and then he was like, look, this would be better for you if you just go on salary. It would be better for the both of us. I know what my expenses are. You know what your expenses are. Tries to make sense of it. They agree to it. And then they realize, wow, we're getting screwed. <laughs> right you know <laughs> we're working 50 hours a week yeah well 
anyway i i just think it's i just think it's bad all the way around i i worked for a company like that in the in the um early 90s that didn't pay overtime they paid you half time anything over 40 and i was like no you missed the time and a half it's time and a half right. not half right. time but they were like yeah that's what a lot of companies are doing we realize that's the law but it's not what we're doing here <laughs> like, <Wow>. okay <laughs> next so we just made sure everybody worked just the 40 hours, you know, and they would call yeah. for overtime. We'd be like, no, no, I was on salary. I, it, I had to work it, but it was a hard situation to deal with. You had to manage your people effectively. That's where I learned the, uh, the phrase and the, I don't know what you call it, theory or, or, or whatever, but the job you allot somebody will expand in time to meet the time allotted. So in other words, it may take three hours to do this job, but if you tell the employee you'll give them six hours to get the job done, it'll take all six hours. Yep. And I learned that. The two guys were saying, no, we, can do, we can't do that. We can't do that. So I stepped in. I'm new to the game at this place. And I stepped in and fucking did their job in half the time, the two of them. And they just yep. looked at me. And I said, this is now the expectation. You don't want it? Don't fucking be here. I don't care. Because I walked in. I was, I, you know, I could take a few bullets coming in. I went to one restaurant one time to clean it up. This was after Hurricane Hugo in Charleston, South Carolina. I walked in. The cooks were sitting on stools. Wow. I called in. I was there one hour. I sent the manager home because he had worked 30 days straight, bell to bell, 8 in the morning till 2 in the morning for 30 days straight. I walked in, sent him home. And then I saw the cook sitting on stools, and I called a kitchen meeting right by the expediter window there. And I had the staff there, the waiters and waitresses and everything. I said, hold on, I'll be right back. I went down the kitchen line. I scooped up all them stools, went out the back door, and threw them on a fucking dumpster. Two guys walked out instantly. So, yeah. What? Was, they, made, they, made, they made your job easier. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to say I was being a dick, but come on. Really? Yeah. Come on. The basics. You've basics. been taking advantage of the situation. You saw. Yeah. No. Anyway. I, I, yeah. Uh, for me, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a more mild manager. I just want the basics. You give me the basics, we can work from there. If you, can, if you can't do the basics, see ya. Get out. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I, I don't expect much from people, but I don't expect you to do anything more than I could do. You know, I'm not going to expect right. you to do right. something I can't do. Right. And I know people have different aptitudes and different abilities, but it is what it is. You, where have you ever seen in a restaurant cooks sitting on stools? <laughs> never. No, if the health department came in, they'd be like, never. they'd have a field day. Yeah. Anyway, speaking of restaurants and stools, Taco Bell has a new thing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you like that segue? You'll huh? make any segue. <laughs> I know. They speaking have, of, yeah. They, they have a monthly taco subscription for ten dollars a month you can get one taco every day 30 days of the month it's like, the, like a subscription for a car wash 20 bucks and you can get your car wash whenever you want i'm surprised doctors aren't prescribing this to their patients who are constipated here <laughs> keep regular get a taco it's, a day it, it's cheaper than freaking metamucil and malox yeah i think this was a great idea i think it's a great idea for them as well because you know, you see it all the time, and I'm like, how can this be? I see these commercials, and they're like, do you have monthly subscriptions you forgot about? And I'm like, who the fuck does that? And I start looking at my shit. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got that on there. I got that on there. And I'm like, wow. So they could make money without people picking up their taco. Do you really think somebody's going to go to Taco Bell every day to pick up their taco? And it's one taco. Yeah. No. Okay. No. So, and, and, okay, let, let's do the math. Taco shell. Five cents? If that. Uh, meat? Ten cents? I would, Lettuce, loose, I would loosely cents? call that meat, yes. Yeah. Uh, so Collectively, 20 cents for everything that's in there. Probably. The, the wrapper. You let's, know. let's double it. Let's double it. Let's say 40 cents. Just to 40 be cents for the, for the whole bowl of wax whole with the wrapper. Mm -hmm. All right. 30 days? Mm -hmm. 12 bucks. 12 bucks. 
If you go every day. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if you go every day. You know what? It, 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 it's worth it if you work at the discount auto, the discount auto parts next door. Yeah, usually, yeah. You can just walk usually in. Usually wherever a there's a Taco Bell, there's an yeah. auto parts store next to it. If yeah. you work there, makes sense. You, you know, know I, uh, last time I was at Taco Bell, July. <laughs> You know, and it's one one exit down, about five miles away. July, probably the last time I was there. <laughs> uh, it's also like today, I got the car washed. Went to went to the store, did a little grocery shopping with Xander. Went by the, uh, I don't know what the hell the name of the place was. One of those those really cool ones. They have the free vacuums after you pull yeah, out yeah, of the car yeah, wash. Yeah, yeah. You know, really yeah. really kind of an up to date one. Right. And uh, usually they those places will have like a like a cheapo silver package five dollar car wash. Oh yeah. Not this one. So I had to go. I had to offer the ten dollar freaking car wash. But for twenty bucks, you can get the ten dollar car wash every day for a month. Why wouldn't you do like, that? Yeah. I, why wouldn't I do that? Yeah. You just drive by, right in. Yeah, you don't. You don't but, have to vacuum every time. But. It's the next exit down. If it was oh. on my exit, like within you know a stone's throw, and I yeah. drive past it every day, yes. But I drive past this place twice a month. You know, you were you were talking about there being a auto parts store next door all the time, and they have uh, up in my neck of the woods. There's always been this cemetery at this place, and it's right on a main strip. It's right on the main road, four thirty six, and it's in the Altamonte Popka area, and they. Um, you know, I've seen this funeral, this uh, cemetery driving by it. It's it's on it's it's off the road enough, but you could see the tombstones and all that stuff there. Well, next door to it, they had construction for a while, and I was like, "That's odd. Well, who the hell is building something next to a cemetery? It's a retirement home." Oh, God. <laughs> Full <laughs> service. Thinking... Full service retirement. <laughs> Yes. Talk about a business model. You just wow. roll them next door when you're done. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's that's poor. <sighs> oh, here's here. This is a sign of the apocalypse. This is a okay. sign that we are at the end of the world. I can't deal with this shit anymore. <laughs> you know how I feel about this. I'm just All gonna right. put up the picture here. Let's we'll see it. Whoa! Beyond Ew. Fried Chicken. KFC has vegetarian chicken. Yuck. I, I'm i done. I can't... Do, again, I say again. No one has yet to do this. Show me the plant. Show All me right, what the plant looks like. It's <laughs> soy. Okay, then tell me it's fucking soy. What's, is, what's it, with the mystery? And I can't see the plant. Well, it's a variety this, of plants. The, is Show this the variety. new Coke of fried chicken? I don't know, dude, but this is the end of the world. Because you don't go to KFC if you're a vegan. Because yeah. all the for, shit... For they... healthy options. Yes, yes. <laughs> Cold Stone is wow. following this up with their first non-dairy ice cream. Uh, yeah, that's a fart in a, fart in a gas mask. After two years of development, this is according to vegnews.com. Okay. The the day has finally come. Vegan fried chicken is now at KFC. After two years in development and several smaller test launches, KFC's vegan fried chicken is finally available at its 4,000 locations nationwide. Wow. The, the new 4, option 000. is in partnership with Beyond Meat and features all the flavor of KFC's famous chicken, but without any of the animal products. 4,000 locations? All right, I'm going to go to Google Maps right now. And I'm going to put in my address right there. Boom. And I'm going to put in KFC, C locations. And the nearest KFC to me is five miles away. Is it on a street with numbers or directions? Like Northwest 26th Street? Um, it's actually, it's actually right next to the Taco Bell. <laughs> See, there, there you go. Uh, that's I think they were awesome. I think they were both owned by Pepsi or something at one time. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, PepsiCo Company, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, KFC. Well, if they spun going, it off the Yum Brands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you uh, and and one other, if you if you go into them, 
you will not find Coke products. It's all Pepsi products. So, so, so not to be and free to lay. So not and, to be outdone in this picture next to the Beyond Fried Chicken, which looks ominous in a green striped bucket and with the Colonel's picture on it. I'm about to lose my mind. The picture right next to it that I posted up on Twitch.tv slash both mics is Philadelphia cream cheese is now going to have a plant-based option. It's going to be almond and oat-based. See, yeah. I'm down with this. Let me tell you why. Because they told me what the fuck is in it on the label. I know right. almond and oat based. I'm sure there's a ton of other shit in there. But at least you're telling... Okay, I am familiar. They do have such a product as almond milk. There is a product called oat, oat milk. I get it. I can put the two together. The chicken, you have yet to tell me what the fuck that is. What yeah. is it? It's beyond me. Okay, what is that? Now, here's the thing, too, with the, with the chicken. Are the chicken people... The, the chicken committee are going to be the are they going to be up in arms that they're calling this chicken when it's actually not chicken? Here's what I want to know. I thought chicken and, and beef and, and all this stuff. I thought it was, you know, doing the right thing by the environment because, well, I just added a step. That's all. It's no big deal. The cows are eating all the vegetables and then I'm <laughs> eating the cow. The chickens right. are eating the vegetables. I Then I eat the chicken. Exactly. Now you want to take out the middleman and feed me chicken feed and grass. The um, the rice council, the people who are the rice people, R I C E, have a problem that cauliflower is now riced. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cauliflower is cauliflower, but if you rice it, you make it into rice. It's not actually rice. They so make the pizza rice people, crust out of that too. Yeah. So the uh, the rice people don't want them calling cauliflower rice or anything being riced because it's not rice. So is rice people a new racist term for people from China? Um, it depends. What's what's today? I don't Saturday. know. I didn't use that inflammatory <laughs> remark. You did, Mike. You can reach him at Mike <laughs> underscore Taylor at both Mike's dot com. Yeah, because he checks his email all the time. <laughs> wow, that went by pretty quick, dude. We're at two minutes here, so we got like oh, one wow. minute. One minute to do any shout outs if you have any. Uh, not really. Uh, Monsters Rock Cruise coming up in three, four weeks, four or yeah, five weeks. Yeah, we're going to talk about that next show. I don't think you're going. Eh, no? Yeah. I'm going. I found I'm some going. stuff out. Uh, dude, like, I, whatever you have, I know more. So I, uh, I agree. I believe that. Yes, yes. But we'll see. So there's your teaser. There's your cue to stick around. This was this was 82. We're going to have 83 coming up here shortly. I want to give a shout out, of course, my man Gino Lucy. You want to go fishing anywhere in Florida. He reels them in. You'll be out on water with him for 30 minutes. He'll take you right to the fish. You'll be on the monsters. Go check him out. G-I-N-O-L-O-S-I. -O -O you find him everywhere on YouTube, social media. Check out my friends at the Melon Patch Theater in Leesburg. My my friend Dustin Levine is uh, doing a great job there. They're, go see a local theater play. It's fun. It's it's affordable. It's a good night out. And it supports the community. Go go do that. And um, I don't know. I'm sure I'm leaving a bunch of people out. Oh, Jet Set Printing in Orlando. My friend Night Fan Stan. Go check him out if you have any printing needs. And we'll see you in the next show here. We'll see you in... A few minutes if you're watching on twitch.tv slash both mics and well if you're not you should be we'll see you next time we'll see you on the exactly. next show ciao folks